Hi guys, so today I'm back with a, another video. Today's video is just going to be tips on how to stay organized in school and tips on like um, getting good grades and like, yeah, that's basically it. So I just have a couple, I'm not sure how many. Um, I don't really like think how many, but um, I just have a couple that I just wanted to share with you guys so then when a test comes up in the school year, you're like, you come back to this video and like, oh, I'm gonna take her, I mean, I'm gonna take her um, studying tips and see if I get a good grade. So yes, that's why I'm here. So I'm just gonna get on to like the, um, the um, like um, studying tips first and then I'm gonna go on to the organization. So yes, so first for like my organization, um, not organization, like studying, studying, um, like tips and stuff is get an extra like journal or like a notebook or like a um, composition book, like a spiral notebook like this. I got another one, so I could just like show you guys this, but um, I'm not sure if this is in focus, I'm just gonna pray it is, because I can't see so I have my glasses on, but um, so I just got this one, it's just one subject and it has... It's a wide rule, it's 80 sheets. I don't really know. It was 98 cents at Walmart, so. All the stuff I'm gonna show you is from Walmart, so. Yeah. So what I usually like to do is I usually just, if I like got a planner, which I'm gonna show you that. Um, but if you don't have a planner or something, you get you can just get like a piece of paper, like a notebook, and just like write down something. So I'm just gonna write down tests on Thursday. And then I'm gonna highlight it, and you can, so what I usually like to do, it's like if I have a test, I just like write it down and I'll highlight it. And I usually like to use a key. And if you don't know what a key is, it's like I write in like the up here. Like this little like it's just right here. I'm gonna put like key. So like blue means to study, yellow means to to practice test or something or like a real like a quiz. So I just like did that. So like I know. So you can do key. And then that usually helps me. I always do that on like all my stuff. So that's one way that you can just get like a journal and just like write down like your test dates. Um, so yeah. And then another way to study is get flashcards. So I have this box with like 600 flashcards. So I'm just going to use it really old one. So what I like to do for like a vocabulary test or like a spelling test, I usually just like to write down like the word and like the definition or like my spelling test. I like to... Um, Sorry, I like to just like write down the word, like right here, or, like in the middle, and then I like to make it like my own sentence. So, so I'm like, oh, what was that? And then I like think of it and stuff. So, yes, and um, that's another way. And this is my very last um like tip. There's only three now. Is get post-it little notes like things like this. And I got these at oh sorry I can't see. And these are like pink ones, I guess. They're super sticky. So. Yes, and let me just like, I probably should have opened these before this video. But what I usually like to do is like in my um, binder, which I'm going to show you in just a sec. I usually like to like put one of these on like, as soon as like you open it, you see it. And I usually just like, if I don't use a notebook to write down like my test dates, I usually put my planner or just for an extra reminder, if I don't like look at my planner that night or something, I just have put a sticky note. I usually put it like right here. I usually put like in the sleeve, or I usually put it right. Here. And my dog just knocked out my camera. So what I usually like to do is just put it like right here. Like as soon as you open it, you know, like you open it, you see it. So yes, sorry. My dog just knocked down my camera. I'm so sorry. Um, so, yeah. Or I like to put it right here in the sleeve. I don't know. That's just my thing. So, post it a little bit or something I usually use. And I love using highlighters just to highlight my, my work, like my test, like my quiz, or like my practice test, or like, you know, like ISAT, or like my finals, or something. I don't know. These things are my life. And another one, like I just one I just thought of, is um, 
some people they don't go off like their supply list and they just like kind of just get whatever I go off the supply list because I know like some people don't know like oh we decided to do that and they always have to ask people for stuff go off your supply list that they if they give you one go off it if they don't then you know you can do whatever so now I'm going to like the um organizing tips and stuff so yeah let's get started to that so, okay so like my organizing tips is um let's have a planner one from your school oops have one from your school like buy one i bought this one from target it was only ten dollars and yeah and you can even put your own like pictures in here if you wanted to but yeah so i'm just gonna show you okay nah, i can't show you that part okay wait Okay, I put my name on it right there. So, it's just like a whole year calendar. And then the next page, which I'll show you quickly. Okay, I just showed you. It says like, quick information. Sorry, my dog was eating himself. Basic. Um, so, I'm just going to August. So, for like, each, and it has like these little divider thingies. Like, it's like September, October, November, December, January, February, March, April, May, June. So, yeah. So, like, for each month, it gives you a whole calendar and stuff. So, if you guys can already tell, my month is busy for August. Not really busy. So, I have my registration on 13th, 19th, I have my birthday, and then 25th is the first day of school of August. And then, like, you flip to, like, the next page, and, like, it starts out, which I'm going to show you. Hi. Okay, um, and then I already have it highlighted, so like it gives you like all that room just for like the first day. So I'll just put like English class, study guide, or like usually on the first day we never have homework. It's usually just like the like rules for the classroom. I'm in middle school. I'm in middle school, but they like still tell you like all the rules, which is pretty stupid, but you know. So and then I just keep this little like, little. I want to say like clasp, it's not a clasp, it's a like little, like this thing that you like put on your notebooks, I don't know what it's called, you like go like that, I don't know what it's called at all, if you do, then you know what I'm talking about, if you don't, then we're on the same page, and then actually you should probably take it off and show you the rest, so it just has it for every month, and then it has like Saturday and Sunday at the bottom, which I just put like extra notes, and stuff. So, so yes. Yeah. In the very back, it has notes, which actually says notes, which just says it looks like this. Um, it says notes up right there. But in my agenda for my school, which I didn't want to buy one this year because it's like a textbook. Like I'm not joking. Like our agenda for our school is like a thick like a textbook, and like half of it you don't even need. But it's only like four dollars, so that's why I usually buy it. But this year I wanted to buy my own. So. Because if I buy my own, I think I would actually use it more. Um, so, it just has, like, these notes. But, anywho, um, our school agendas. I mean, yeah. I have bathroom passes, so I just, like, wrote my own. So, and it has it on the same side. So, like, they both, like, same thing. And then, sorry. These pages always get stick together at the very back. And then it just has, like, another one that has notes. And it has, like, all the holidays through 2017 and it just has like the states, states, capitals, and time zones. Yeah, that's basically it. So I usually like to buy a planner, like the planner. I just showed you like my whole entire agenda. I usually like to just like get an agenda, I mean like a planner just to like keep all my like dates and stuff in it and yes. Another tip would be get like a binder. This is a two inch, which you probably wonder if that's huge. It's actually not. I had a three inch last year. And a lot of people just have like four or six. Like my school, you have seven classes because you have break, study hall, and lunch, which is like three. So if that made any sense. Yeah. So um, get like a binder, at least a one half inch or like one inch or something to keep all your stuff in. For me, our school like wants you to have like a lot, so I just got a two inch just to be safe, even if I don't need the, the extra space. 
So I just got this pink one from New Line. It was like five dollars. Always get a pencil case, even if it's like a makeup bag. Just have one. It doesn't even have to be in your binder. I'm not even sure if I'm gonna keep this in here. And I just have like some paper. I always keep paper. Oh. I just found a piece of paper that had writing on it. That's mine. This is my. That's really awkward. Okay, so I just have all this like, paper and stuff. And I always and get these dividers. Even I get these dividers are from Walmart. And they have like two little pockets. So like, I can get it open. So like has a pocket here and then on the back has a pocket. So I have like a four, so two, four, eight. I don't think about that. So I have eight in here, so I probably need eight, eight. But you never know. So yeah, that's how I usually organize mine. I usually have to know. Well, usually my planner is in the very back. Because we only need it we only need it on Mondays to like fill out our agenda. So that was all of my like tips and tricks and organizing ideas for to um, get good grades and study ideas. And my favorite, and if you have a favorite like tip throughout this video, please comment it down below. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Hope you guys enjoyed this video, and if you guys like this setup, give this video a big thumbs up. And yes. And this is the second back to school series. And send me a picture of your organizing tips with the hashtag Courtney's School Tips on Twitter and Instagram. And I will totally like those pictures and I'll follow you back. So yes, hope you guys enjoyed this video, which has been very long. I'm so sorry. So have a great day and I love you guys so much. And have an amazing day, which I already said like six times, but yes.